I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon update. The dementia matchup. We have two candidates for president, or both sides are claiming the other side is misfiring like a rear ended 72 Pinto. And we can tell that these two ancient white men, who were born before color, have lost a step, but only one has lost his morality. The other one just gets lost. Let's do a little head-to-head -head matchup. Biden! The right have been saying that Biden doesn't know where he is and he can't finish words. But let's be fair. Biden's brain has been glitching since he was a child. You you could, you do, you you want, you, you could. He had a bad stutter as a kid and he was even made fun of by a nun, 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 nun in his Catholic school. And then his mother went to school and told that nun that she would p -p 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 punch her out in front of Jesus himself if she made fun of her son again. I like Biden's m -m -m mom. So, Joe Biden stood in front of a mirror night after night, reciting Yeats and Emerson to cure his stutter. I propose, and I'm going to digress slightly. I, here we, we're in a situation. I, it almost worked. Overcoming his stutter is the source of his grit and determination. Also, Biden's caring for other people and their problems. But being bullied gave Biden a fierce ability to fight bullies. You know, assholes. Trump. On the other hand, Trump was born into the family of a multi-millionaire and was such a rough, bully douchebag as a kid, they sent him to military school, which ironically taught him to avoid the draft five times and call anyone in the military suckers and losers. So the childhood round goes to Biden. Let's go to midlife stats. Biden. He has a law degree from Syracuse University and at 29 years old was elected to the Senate. And he stuttered through 40 plus years in government and helped get the Violent Crime and Control Act and the Violence Against Women Act passed in the law. He fights violence, all because of one bitchy nun. He was then elected to Barack Obama's cabinet as VP, where he did a great job as counsel to the first black president. Trump, by the way, was handed his daddy's business then went bankrupt four times, including bankrupting casinos. You know that business where people walk in and give you money, then leave? <laughs> he screwed that up. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. But let's go to current. 2024. We have two guys running for president. Two guys who watch the pyramids being built. Two guys with earwax that can be carbon dated. And enough plaque in their arteries to caulk a master bathroom. Trump is 77 and Biden is 81. One guy rides a bike and swims. The other guy gets in a golf cart if he has to walk 30 feet and then cheats while golfing. One guy says he loves kids. One guy got sued because him and his pedo buddy made love to kids. Now let's do the cognitive comparison. Biden. Beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. It is fine. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. Huh? Okay, okay, you gotta admit that Biden, out of context, is a little great-grandpa staring into the light listening for Jesus. And I get it. Look, if you cut together every time I had messed up a sentence on stage, <laughs> you would just put me in a helmet and a diaper, which honestly would make life a tad easier. However, Here's Biden during the State of the Union yesterday. Bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't like that bill, huh? That conservatives got together and said it was a good bill? I'll be darned. That's amazing. This is Trump last week. Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war terror. You heard that. So when it comes to screw-ups and gaffes, there's a case to be made that both of these ridiculously old men who were, who were both at Renaissance fairs during the Renaissance are no longer qualified to be president. But that's our choice. However, one of these men is a kind man who knows loss and struggle, who has a basic caring about humanity and a family and a wife that loves him. He has integrity and no indictments. 50 years of experience in government, and because of him and his administration, we have the strongest economy worldwide. Unemployment is at the lowest it's been in 50 years. Wages up, corporate profits up, drugs are cheaper, a million manufacturing jobs added, gas prices dropping, inflation down, growth up, and he did all this after this guy screwed up the pandemic, and the economy was so bad we were stacking grandma and grandpa's dead bodies in refrigerator trucks and stores were dead empty. On top of that, this guy said he's going to be a dictator on day one, threatened vengeance on his enemies, 
And his wife has obviously joined the witness protection program. Where is Melania? I guess she's hanging with Shelly Miscavige. Trump's got 91 felonies, including trying to overthrow our government and stealing top secret classified documents. And he and his family have received billions from foreign governments. So both of these old men who both witnessed the crucifixion of Christ, where one of them sobbed uncontrollably, while the other refused to pay the guys who build the crosses, are maybe too ancient to run America. I can agree with that. But one of them tried to end America. The other one's saving America. I'm going to vote for that one. Even if he's pooping in his hand, because you know that this guy, for years, has been pooping in a diaper. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Yeah, man, it's literally just a Joker versus Batman choice. It's not even, they're both psychotic, they both have childhood trauma, they're both kind of crazy in their own way, but one of them is crazy for good. A prince must have got one of those like kitty things on the toilet. Like, how did he? <laughs> like, when those, little like, step, little baby, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little baby <laughs> things, a little like a training thing. Okay, all right. That, we it's don't need to a... disrespect. I don't even want to get into that. Look, he's my idol, and I don't want to get into this part about. That's prince. why it's fun. That's why prince it's fun. pooping is weird. Guys, Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening with me. As always, the lovely bombshell, Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so this has been going back and forth. We remember they were talking about Biden being, uh, having dementia and stuff. And then they, and then, then Trump started like literally every speech. Yeah. Like making up words. It was <laughs> it's, it's, it's contagious. He does it more have, so than usual. Yeah. But yeah. inventing words and like in the Slurring, you know, just like, And then he's reading words that he's see him but his brain won't say him yeah. and so but he can hear it he knows he fucked up and then he just kind of just he moves drifts on. into this other he thing he just goes yeah. into something else he said when well, he goes yeah, well you saw the video and, and the thing so so i thought let's do it let's do a head-to-head matchup of who's who's the most crazy and i have to be honest with you i've been arguing with ray about biden biden's fine only because there is spaces like if you put all of biden's gaffes together it's bad oh yeah Trump, yeah. you in one speech you can oh, see the as one many. What he did last Saturday was yeah. he said uh, Putin Putin doesn't like Obama. Yeah, he's got a nuclear. So he started talking about nuclear, nuclear. Obama yeah. in 2024, he yeah. said this. Yes, yeah. no, he yeah. said yeah. It, this weekend. Like, this he weekend. Just said, yes. this year. Yeah, yeah, he, he said, said about Obama, like Obama's president. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I, so I watch, I watch video, I watch tape, I watched, I did the thing where I go and watch compilations. Cause when you watch compilations, it really makes it look bad, yeah. you know? And uh, I watch compilations of Trump and then, and oh, I watched compilation Biden and I was like, oh man, okay, I get it. He's old. But then again, there's the other speeches where you can see um, Biden nailing a speech. Yeah, sharp. Saying things, yeah. they ask him a question and he goes, all right, yep. well, here's why. The economic problem with that is, is that if we do that, then we, we lose American jobs and I'm not going to do that. And you're like, okay, that was a thought. He connected it. He answered the question correctly and he moved on. Then there's other times where he, uh, they cut him, where he's, he goes to leave the mic, mic and it's the wrong way. And he turns and he goes the other way. <laughs> Nobody and sees. And it's the wrong there way. For like 30 and seconds. then he goes like that and looks around again. And you're like, ah, shit. <laughs> and then Seth Meyers screwed him over last week why they took him to it that'll be a funny bit to go to an ice cream shop with obama now they should have just gone had an ice cream with him but the problem is they let reporters in and they started asking him questions about israel and gaza oh, no. so there's this video of biden you can put it in here this video where he goes where he's like he's like, he's, he's he's like he's got he's, look two people love ice cream kids and old people <laughs> fucking love ice cream <laughs> yes, they more on. than they they are like don't fuck with me while yep. i'm eating my ice cream <laughs> can you give us a sense of when you think that these fire will start well, I hope by the, the beginning of the weekend. I mean, the end of the weekend. At least my, my, my national security advisor tells me that we're close. And you can see, Biden goes, he's like, he's like ah, and someone asked him a question about Israel, and he goes, <laughs> and the ice cream pop. Uh, no, no, you know, it just happened, but you can tell him, he's like, ah, ah fuck. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, well, he goes, I believe we'll, by the end, by the weekend, we'll have a, a ceasefire agreement or by the end of the weekend. And then they ask him another question. I'm like, come on, now, Seth Myers. Now let me get this fucking ice cream. Seth my- Myers screwed him. And they pull back. I, I, I was watching a clip from Seth Myers and they pull back and Seth Myers standing there with an ice cream too, just <laughs> looking at Biden. But, the, made, but what's happening, worse. the only guy who's getting criticized 
about yeah. age and dementia stuff is Biden. Well, it, for up till this last week, because dementia Don started trending. Mm -hmm. Dementia uh -huh. Don, and so then there's another speech uh, where he where Trump starts to make it. Up. He goes, he goes, I'm interposing. I'm interposing different names: Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi. He goes, they're both ends. And, and he goes in there, and they and they both basically he says they both suck, and that's what connects them. And he's just making, he just comes up. Here's but here's the thing. the thing: he was talking about in 2024, right. running against Nikki Haley and why she wasn't qualified. Right. And herein lies the problem because it's not like he has dealt with Nancy Pelosi in almost four years, yeah. and that Capitol riot thing was almost four years ago yeah. it was three and a half well, you know more plus years yep. ago and the two don't intersect At it's all. not like you would uh, you know accidentally say the name of someone you're dealing with every day and now uh, you know what i mean he was saying nikki haley was not qualified to run against him for mm -hmm. president because of what she did because at the Capitol riot thing. <laughs> because she didn't, ha she was responsible for security. Yeah. Right. Uh, on January 6th. And Nikki Kaylee's like, I had left two years earlier. <laughs> that, what are you talking about? That's reassigning a person's job. That's not like just screwing up a name. He, he, that is him somehow thinking that the person he's running against yes. is Nancy Pelosi. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's a problem. Yeah. It's a real, he's Sweet. done a lot of that. Like he's, has, Obama comes up a lot. How yeah. He says he's, he's running against Obama. Obama. Mm -hmm. And when I said something to one of my family members, they, I told you already, but they were like, oh, it's because he, everyone thinks of this Biden as part two of Obama's administration. They're so quick to dismiss mm -hmm. the crazy, but he's done it again. He well, thinks he, <laughs> Obama he also, lives in there. He also referred to um, Hillary Clinton. Recently, yeah, what, in, a, in one of his speeches, he was like, what, like about the fucking emails or some shit. Uh -oh. Like he, he has nothing. He's <laughs> I did got nothing. see that, and people were like, uh, "That's not really a talking point." The for funny this thing election. is, even when it's sometimes <laughs> be, right. you'll you'll hear his audience cheering him, and then he'll say some go off go off the rails, and you they'll get really quiet. Like, ah, mm -hmm. oh, fuck, mm -hmm. is this it? Is this the, is this the is this the final explosion? Um, he also was talking about like he's talking about being a dictator and he's talking about like he's going to get vengeance i am your vengeance when have you ever in our american history heard a president a guy running for president say i will be your vengeance i'm sorry uh, oh and then the people that are that are following him that he's their vengeance for there was this there's this kid i follow on instagram i forget his name but he goes he goes to trump rallies and he's a younger younger kid too i'm surprised he's not dead because he has no problem walking up and telling people asking people why they believe the crazy oh, yeah. shit they believe um and he goes he talks to this lady and she goes she goes she goes uh, she goes trump is still my president i go oh, oh so he's still your president he goes no no he's president right now and then she goes and then she goes and she goes and he goes wait if trump is president right now what's what's biden doing he goes he goes biden's just a figurehead obama obama's behind the scenes because oh, remember obama's when because remember when obama said he wanted his third term so obama's behind the scenes behind the scenes run, telling biden what to do and the Did guy obama say and he, he goes wait let me term? finish let me finish i'm curious uh, let me finish he goes the only way to have a third term if i could sit, sit in the closet and he was joking so let me finish oh so she said so let me finish this bit let me take explain so this woman goes he goes wait so if wait so if obama's telling joe what to do so Obama's president now? I thought you said Trump was still president. Mm -hmm. And this woman, you just see like just, could just deadness. Just her pupils were like, rrr, rrr, yeah. rrr, rrr. she goes, Well, no, Trump, Trump's still president, but but Obama's telling Biden what to do. And he goes, Hold on. He goes, wait. So is Trump president now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is Biden doing? She goes, he's listening to Obama. So Obama's president, but I thought you said Trump is president, and that was it. <laughs> this woman literally oh, shut down. It was like God. the circuits all blew, and she had no idea what to do, and they just cut away. And I don't understand again, and we say this way too much, how these people make this shit up. Like you said it, you, what you got me on when you said this, when you said that, um, uh, what did you just say about them making stuff up? Oh, about about Obama, uh, about Obama because Obama because Obama. What did you say about Obama? They were making up about Obama. Now, yeah, yeah, on you this just podcast? Said, yeah, you just said you said because Obama. <laughs> oh God, now I have dementia. I said he lives <laughs> in there. I just creeped in. I just. Okay. I said I, he I, lives in so, their head. So he, yeah, no, but no, he said Obama. He said he's running against Obama because Obama. Oh, we think of this as Obama's third, second, third term, right? Second yes. term yes. of presidency. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so. 
I, I just said, I, wow, I got, just talking about dementia gave me dementia. That's really- <laughs> I told speaking. you it's contagious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I was going to save this for the fun fact, but yeah. we're talking about making shit up and Trump, I, we got to talk about this like right now. It's, it's just fucking psychotic. Okay. Um, Donald Trump at one of his golf courses mm -hmm. has a plaque, a civil war plaque. Okay. And it says this, this is on the plaque. Many great American soldiers, both of the North and South died at this spot. The casualties were so great and the water would turn red and thus became known as the river of blood. It is my great honor to have preserved this important section of the Potomac river. None of that ever happened. He made the whole thing up. Just to put on just his golf put, course. Just like, makes this fucking fake important location and make it look like his golf course has some uh, historic historical value. significance. Oh my God. Holy of course, fucking though. psycho. Yeah, but he, but we, but look at, they were saying like some of the, some of the quote buildings he owns, he doesn't own them. He leases yes. them and pays them to put his name put on them. <laughs> I, 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 and this I'm just like, fraud. what the fuck is going on? And, and again, I, I, I did it in Amerigeddon. I did, but the man bankrupt casinos. Yeah. And people were going through all the things again. And then we saw how bad he fucked up. I mean, the stores were empty. The stores were empty. We had people dying in, in refrigerator trucks. He was telling people don't get vaccinated and they died. They were begging for the vaccine as they died. And this guy, I, and I, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I, I just don't, I'm confused with my country to the point where I've never been this. I don't know worried. why you're worried because he passed a cognitive test and he got extra points. He did. <laughs> he, he did, did it, it twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> Flying colors. Person, woman, man. Camera TV. <laughs> he always said the end like, huh? <laughs> and that was the whole test yeah. Oh, yeah, that you're right. qualified him. Yeah to be president of the United States because he could recall those five nouns you guys, twice. You have to watch it. Uh, is it Larry Kudlow? Whoever was interviewing him is the that funny. That was awesome, It's yes. the best reactions you've ever seen. It's literally, it's Burks. Everybody, by the way, whenever Trump goes on a weird, crazy, dumb rant, uh, whether it's the inject with a, a disinfectant yeah. and a powerful light yeah. or that one person will be man can be, when they cut to the other person who's listening to him, supposed to be backing him up, it, the, the looks are awesome. They're just like, <laughs> that is exactly what he looked now, like. Isn't that a one of the main symptoms of actual dementia? Like you just say crazy wild shit, right? I don't. Well, he always, uh, that's weird. With Trump, it's hard to tell because he's yeah. been doing it for so long that even if he has dementia, he just sounds a little worse than he yes. normally sounds. Yes. It's not just that. It's the slurring, aphasia. Um, my grandfather had dementia. A lot of, I was reading a lot of people were on this. Um, were commenting on the video because this weekend really got a lot of people talking because it was like 32 different things that he said in one in speech. one speech and then like also covering up pretending it didn't happen and getting angry when people suggest that you said something same thing my grandfather did a lot of people that either worked in healthcare with seniors or had had family members were talking about like yeah this is different than his normal being bombastic and yeah. lying and saying whatever yeah. this is you can see him at one point he went blank and looked yep. lost yep. he's inter interposing that was his new word names from years ago not this year, adding like Obama keeps yep. coming up. It's very, it's very odd. Um, the it's, presidents do shady shit, right? And they, all of them, right? Because they have to. So, but he is saying things as if he doesn't know where he is, right? You, yeah. you, you say that shit in the fucking behind the scenes in the Oval Office. Yeah. When nobody's around. Which is what Biden does. <laughs> exactly. Because trust me, <laughs> there are people, there was a video I saw that didn't, I didn't think was fair. There was one where. So by so so if you're president, no matter who you are, Trump, Obama, Biden, W, you're getting walked like you're not planning your day. Yeah. You've got you, you know you're making decisions and stuff, but but the meetings are fucking planned. We got to yeah. meet these guys three thirty, three forty five, four oh six. We're gonna meet, and then so they're walking. So they go. Biden has to be told where to go, and he's walking with a dude at an at a at an event. And the guy goes, "All right, the, uh, the people up front, they're going to be uh, those guys are part of the thing. People on stage with you with this person. You got to make a left here. You're going to go stand on the blue yep. mark. Mm -hmm. That's what they tell me when I'm on on a set That's, or something. You, you or need anything. somebody to set up your itinerary, yeah, because <clears throat> you're the fucking president. Yeah, <clears throat> Trump had to inject fucking golf hour in the middle of his <laughs> no, fucking day. He 
He did, Trump, I, we love this. We got to put this up. You got to find this. Trump's schedule was um, <laughs> oh, up till 11 and 30 in the morning, executive time. Yeah. And then he would go 11. Makes many 11, meetings, 11, makes many phone calls. 11, 30 to 1, it was meetings. And then 1 to 3, executive time. That, well, they, but it was today, tr President Trump will take many meetings and have many phone calls. That was how they, <laughs> and then more executive time. Uh, he the confused Biden for Obama twice. He also said that there were U.S. troops fighting in Ukraine. Um, oh, wow, that's a bad fuck up right there. It's not great. Actually, uh, Charlie Sykes, who's a conservative guy, actually expressed alarm on- uh, You shouldn't be saying that. What? He shouldn't be telling whether wrong or right. I mean, it, I mean, he shouldn't be saying there's Ukraine, there's American troops fighting in Ukraine. He shouldn't be saying that out loud. He well, he's actually got a couple Republicans coming out. He said, if there's any upside here, Joe Biden will be able to say, yeah, I'm old, I'm stiff when I walk, but this guy is also old and crazy. He's dangerous. <laughs> exactly. He's yep. incoherent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. This, it, it, it's a binary choice. It's the Joker yeah. versus Batman. Yeah. They're both nuts. They yeah. both have childhood trauma. They're both fucked up. But I'm taking Batman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking Batman. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, yeah Batman. Yeah, you know, you're, he's all beat up. He's messed up. He, he's, he's weird. I'm taking Batman. Batman's I'm, helping you with your student loan. <laughs> Batman <laughs> gave you the Chips Act. Cheaper, cheaper drugs. Fucking Bat Batman. Batman's using, yeah, <laughs> using his power for good. Yeah. And, uh, and I guess several times during this rally this past weekend, the thing that people are most focusing on is that there are times, you watched it today, where he looks completely blank. And he's reading a teleprompter. Who, Trump? Yes. Yep. He goes completely blank, stops mid-sentence, sometimes mid-word, and his jaw goes slack. Which is all a sign mm. of dementia. We should be clear. It's accelerating. Uh, it's first edition Batman. Like, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. He said Venice. He said Venice. Uh, first edition, by the way. <laughs> I, 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 I believe your metaphor is correct, but only if you go back to the early uh, uh, iteration <laughs> of Batman. <laughs> um, so the thing I watched Trump to do today, he says Venezuela out loud. And here's where I think his brain is glitching. He says it out loud. Mm -hmm. Then he goes about two sentences on and he goes, Venezuela. Love yeah, it was very, that was weird. And it just turned off. I just saw him turn off. And then he said, Argentina he, he, is a great guy. Yeah, yeah. He, goes, <laughs> he, goes, he didn't say the president of Argentina. He said, oh. he goes, he goes, they're going mega. Mar Argentina's gone full mega right now. Uh, and Argentina, he is a great president. Argentina He's a great Pelosi. He's a great guy. She, <laughs> holy yeah, shit. Yeah, no, it's holy shit. It's holy shit. But the thing is, the people that are following him, as, as he said many more, I love this poorly educated, the poorly educated just gloss it over. This is the one thing. So there is nothing, nothing. There is literally nothing from the time this man came down that escalator and started those speeches. Nothing that he has said happened. Nothing that he said was going to happen happened mm -hmm. nothing he said was that that he said was true was proven to be true he lied thirty thousand times documented in his first and the problem i have is not that that guy listen there's been con men throughout the history he we long uh throughout the history of america there's been a ton of con men nixon the problem is not him right now we've seen who he is mm -hmm. he's shown us who he is yeah the problem is these fuckers that keep following him and keep believing. Because when you ask them, even smart people that follow him, you go, oh, wait, what about all these things that he said never happened? Yeah. Yeah, but what about Biden? Like, there's never any acknowledgement. There's never any, yeah, we fucked up. Yeah, you're right. He didn't. You're right. He was wrong. Nothing. Yeah. They just, they just, they just, they just ignore it and move forward. They, they have dementia. They Mega has I, dementia. I, they have, but their, their dementia, they chose it. They're, oh, yeah. So what I don't understand is... This there's so Nikki Haley uh, won the DC. Um, she won the DC primary. Oh, she she won it. She got fourteen delegates. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, she's been getting about thirty percent of the Republican vote, which is pretty That's crazy. Significant because he was already president once. So they right. said this is unprecedented. No one has ever rerun for president again and had someone come up and get thirty percent of the vote. Yeah. Right. So she's getting her ass kicked, but she's still getting a chunk of the vote. First woman to ever do that. Right. It's awesome. Pretty awesome. And I look at her and I think I, it's a weird part is to be a politician It really, you, when you, see, I don't, I, I think Biden aside, but if you look, go through Biden's history, there's times when he shaved off pieces of his soul to agree with something I don't mm -hmm. think he believed in truly. Mm -hmm. I watch Nikki Haley and she's like, she's such a, it's such a weird thing how she walks this line of talking shit about Trump and not. Have you seen it? She doesn't just come out and go, chaos follows him. It's yes. so vague. It's so lightweight. Yeah. 
Like yeah. the guy committed Here's insurrection. Here's the thing that makes yeah. me crazy. Whenever they ask her about a ruling, like they asked her about the Supreme Court ruling, and she always says, well, first of all, I'm not an attorney, so I'm not going to speak on that. No, no, we didn't ask you to give us legal right. advice. We asked yeah. you to give us your opinion on that ruling because clearly he incited an insurrection and... What do you and think that's why that? I don't think she'd be a good leader. You know, Joe Biden came out and go, he's crazy. Yeah. Biden came out and said it. He's crazy. <clears throat> he's such an easy target. He has a mil he has 91 targets. But but my problem is this. So politics is this there's a very short-term memory in politics. And if you look at Trump, Trump's a perfect example of it. Matt Gates is a perfect example. Marjorie Taylor Greene. If it, Bo Bobert right now, you, you know these people that have caused so much controversy and they just go away for a while mm -hmm. and then they're okay, they're accepted again. It's yeah. weird. So if I was Nikki Haley or any politician right now, I would be body slamming Trump. No, even yeah. if I was a Republican, you know why? Because in four years, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley is young enough. It's going to be her and Gavin Newsom in four years. It's going to be in 2028 if That's we if we survive. Yeah. So I would just be sticking to my guns, kicking ass, becoming a strong Republican, pull the Republican Party back to where- You mean it, if Trump doesn't win? If Trump doesn't win, yes. Because he ain't going anywhere if- and if he dies, one of his asshole kids will just step in. Uh, Lauren Boebert was supposed <laughs> yeah. to appear at a campaign event. I, I'm glad you looked this up. Good. Just because uh, she has kind of gone away, but it's because things aren't going as well as she had anticipated uh, post hand job in the Broadway musical. <laughs> By the way, no, nothing goes as you anticipate. She was supposed to show up at a <laughs> I think that's on a t-shirt, isn't it? <laughs> nothing goes as <laughs> well as you way. think post hand job. <laughs> this was a um, Broadway musical hand job. <laughs> You're right. It's it a was. very specific type of hand job. <laughs> it's a, it's that really a narrow genre. <laughs> that really denotes your it exact is, stance is, in life right it now. It is definitely yes. a specific genre yes. of hand job. And it wasn't even a romantic Broadway musical. <laughs> it's it, a fun It was party. Beetlejuice. <laughs> 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 so Broadway Beetlejuice hand job. You're right. I that's literally that. a one percenter. Yeah. Where is the sexiness <laughs> in Beetlejuice? You know. You know. Yes. She didn't show up to the campaign event. Her uh, manager ended up speaking at the event at a coffee shop because what? she was busy working out if her ex had thrown her things into a pond. <laughs> <laughs> this is the whitest dress ever. Because her exit thrown stuff into a pond. Uh, <laughs> campaign staffers you know, spoke at a gathering should. in a coffee shop. Do you remember when John Adams had this happen? <laughs> remember when uh, Marsha, Martha Washington just Chuck just set his shit on fire in the yard? Oh, God. Uh, you been putting them wooden <sighs> teeth on a whore. Holy shit. And she just let his shit on fire. <laughs> on, that can be true. Threw yes. Yeah, but threw. Barbara Bush. Yes. Her manager, a campaign staffer and her manager had to get up and speak for her because- and explained it. That, she, yes, that she I, had, she was there for in the fourth district or supposed to be in the campaign uh, event in the fourth district. They explained she was back home in the third district trying to see if her ex had put her things in a pond. Okay, can I- can I Which is something? also very specific. Can I say this? When you're a dumb candidate, Norma was an idiot as a candidate, you don't hire smart people because uh -huh. if you're if you're that person's like like mouthpiece, she is saving a baby from a tree. <laughs> she, she is working on legislation <laughs> right now fires. to make sure that we stop these the immigrate. That's what you do. You don't go. By the way, guys, we're sorry. Her husband threw her shit in a pond, so she can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> really, he's not going to pull in the votes. I don't think. I uh, well, I'm voting for her now. Is that why she was late to some of the uh, Senate uh, votings? <laughs> <laughs> she yes. had to fish her fucking laundry out, <laughs> out of the river. <laughs> Holy he shit. threw her Louboutins into the pond. Apparently, she's also pissed off a lot of campaign staffers. Uh, that one has spoken to media and said that they were uncomfortable with a lot of her Facebook posts still on Facebook. Looks like she's constantly at frat parties or the posts that she's making. She said... One of the staffers said something to her and she told him to kiss off, basically. Um, so, can I, Lauren Bobert, uh, my friend Rick said this years ago, and it really, really hit me. And I've never, it's never left me. Um, fame and money uh, just put an amplifier onto the asshole you already are. And Lauren Bobert is, uh, Gates too. 
and and MTG, they're, they're both they're all three really examples of money and power. Just plugs an amplifier into the asshole you, you already know, are. Here's, I can't. I'm keep looking for where she is right now. Here's the Washington Post. On uh, a recent afternoon, campaign manager walked into a coffee shop for a gathering of the Pachyderm Club. A local Republican <clears> group spoke briefly for his candidate. She was not there herself. She was back in her old district figuring out whether her ex-husband had thrown her belongings into a pond. <laughs> That's the opening article of a Washington <laughs> paragraph of a... <laughs> that is such the perfect example of where we are as America. Oh, God, One of so our representatives' husband so threw the other person's shit in the pond so she couldn't make the meeting to get reelected <laughs> and you know trump it fucking brought this white trash yeah reality we well, made it okay. in by the way Bobert okay. and, Bo Bobert and mtg have made it so any anybody thinks they can oh, run for yeah. senator and this by the is way from today <laughs> by now this is daily beast you've heard that tyler Bobert, the 18 year old son who made uh lauren Bobert a 36 year old grandmother 21 felonies right Somebody was arrested after going on an alleged crime spree there may even be a sex tape. Oh, my God. This is her 18-year-old. Wait. Well, he's like, mom can have a sex tape in a Broadway <laughs> play. <laughs> Wait. I can have a sex but tape. But he made her a grandmother, so he has a brand new baby, and this is all happening at and the a same sex tape. time. Okay. It's like 21 felonies, right? He got, he got like arrested for like, it was, a, it was a lot. It wasn't one thing. Right. On the day that he was arrested, Biden. Bobert tweeted, the Biden crime family will go down as the oh. most corrupt political family in American history. Oh. Yeah, except, except Hunter Biden is out clean, uh, making money off his art, and he just testified before Congress and basically handed him their ass, mm -hmm. and Bobert's kid is arrested for 21 felonies? And she's but, busy- but, but, but 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 the Biden crime family? She had the balls to say well, Biden crime family? Well, to be fair, the news of the arrest didn't come out until an hour after she tweeted that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think things are so going well, is what I'm saying. I don't think you meant what you said. I don't think you meant what you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not good. By the way, uh, speaking of Hunter Biden, man, so he finally... Uh, he finally went and testified in front of Congress. I want everyone to pay attention because- We talked about this one last week, yes. Did we say what he said? Yeah, well, I was reading it as it was happening, oh, as right, people right, right. were leaving the room. Yeah, it was pretty- He was pretty- No, you said he said to the woman, I'm not evil. Also, the things that he was asking about Jared Kushner. Oh, he did say that. Oh, yeah, we about yeah, that. Yeah, I just yeah. love that. I love that. They said Hunter Biden is dangerous for them because, and that's why they didn't want to do it live because he's smarter than his father, and he, he and he, he's also was raised by that, or raised by that dude, so he doesn't take any shit. This episode brought to you by <laughs> AG One. One of my favorite. Uh, I I don't think so. I have a we have a cabinet at home that is full of vitamins, uh, different vitamins and things. And They're I probably out of date actually because <laughs> pretty, we don't take them anymore. Pretty and sure we should probably look at. Those so dates. I I went up and had extra magnesium so I could sleep better. And then I went and did my AG One last night because I listen. AG1 has 70, 70 plus things in it that, uh, uh, that, that what, I, what, what are those things? Uh, the vitamins, minerals, and adaptogens. And whole foods and whole source, food super source food super ingredients. Food wow, ingredients. you got three out of four. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good for me. You just wanted to say you got extra credit. Yeah, you got extra, extra credit. credit. Yay! <laughs> Can you say it again? Because um, if you do, you, <laughs> you get, get extra credit. points. You get extra <laughs> points. <laughs> extra points. Um, so AG1, uh, I take it uh, 25 to 30 minutes into it. I have a sense of, I, now I, I don't know why I have this, but it's, I had, I have a, I have a reactive system. Even when I, this happened with, um, when I would do straight, uh, wheatgrass, wheatgrass. you are very, very reactive. And sure. so AG1 makes me feel calm. It makes me feel better. Uh, it, it, everything it gives me, I honestly, I sense of well being throughout the day. I'm not making that up. I love every time I take it and every, and every time it's green, the color it is. Looks like it's going to taste like long clippings, and it never does. No. Every time I make it, I'm like, oh, God, I can actually it. sip it. <laughs> that other yeah, one, I would yeah. hold my nose down it and then have a orange juice or something right by to get rid of the taste. This one, the other day, I was having it because I take it right before I go work out. Like if I'm going to do a long Peloton ride or something, this gives me that sustained energy feeling. Right. And, um, so I did that and I took a sip of it and then I thought, holy crap, I'm just sipping this. <laughs> like that is not something we ever did before. I also like that all of the ingredients go through really rigorous testing to make sure that they have high potency, that they absorb well, um, nutrient density. I like that they test this product. Um, 
I also love that it was invented by a guy that was trying to make himself better, which means he was doing all, it wasn't a company that said, let's put these things together and make a drink. This guy sat down and was like, couldn't, he, nothing he, he had, nothing he could find would help his, the way his gut felt. Daily, he, daily uh, routine. Right. Don't have to take all those pills and powders. And but he invented it for him, mm -hmm. which I always love when someone comes up with something like, he was like, I don't care what anybody else is, I got to fix me. And he found this and then sold it and it's awesome. Also probiotics, prebiotics, you don't have to, I just think it's a great support for your immune system and for your hair, skin and nails and your energy and your clarity and focus. Yep. For me, I notice all those things. All you do is you just take one scoop, put it in a shaker bottle or a glass, stir it around. I do a drop of the vitamin D3 K2. Uh, right now, if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1, try AG1 and you get a free one year supply of that dropper bottle, vitamin D3 K2 and Five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash Titus. That's drinkag1.com slash Titus. Check it out. You will you will hit us on the website and tell us how good that stuff yeah, is. Yeah, this is like if I if somebody came to me and said, I can do one thing yeah. for my health, what do you think I should do? The, this yep. is the product 100%, that 100%, I would recommend. 100%. 100%. Second thing I'd say. Uh, Alan Weisselberg has Weisselberg pled guilty is, to perjury. For God's four counts of perjury and, then, and he has not five and he's not been sentenced yet. For, uh, he's uh, going uh, back to Rikers. Weisselberg is going to do some more time. Mm -hmm. You know what bothers mm -hmm. me about this guy? What does Trump have on Weisselberg or what has Trump promised Weisselberg? Because if I was Weisselberg, I would know how shady Trump was, right? He's his accountant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd know how fucked up yeah. Trump really was you'd know everything it must be so bad for, because weiselberg has now done what he did a year in rikers he did five months five months in rikers he's going to do more time now because he still lied they caught him in perjury five times so he's going to do more time now and this is an old man i mean what does he know about trump that it's worth Trump to pay him. Because also you know that Trump screws people over, which means Weiselberg has been paid. Mm -hmm. He's not waiting for his money. That well, he also was just ordered under the uh, AG Letitia James fraud trial to pay a million dollars in restitution. Oh, that's right. That's right. And the, and the son's got four million. Mm -hmm. That's right. He, but he has to pay a million. And, but he's, it's amazing that he didn't flip on him. Uh, he pled guilty... Un but he had a deal charged with five counts of perjury, pled guilty to two uh, relating to testimony he gave in that 2020 deposition with A.G. James and uh, also admitted to testifying falsely at the civil fraud trial last fall. But that's not one of the charges they're making him plead guilty to. So everybody that works for Trump, you basically speaking of it's funny the how the Republicans always project calling the Biden crime family. Yeah. When in fact, it cra it's crazy. To me. If if you work for Trump, you are stepping into an actual crime family. And every yes, every single member of his family is yes. crime. <clears throat> his his sons mm -hmm. are both ran the business while he was doing it. They committed yep. crime repeatedly. Uh, Ivanka and Jared made four, six hundred forty million dollars while in the White House, and then Jared got two billion from Saudi. Yep. It's the it's the it's the Trump crime family. It really is. But, but then you've got Steve Bannon, Steve Bannon, uh, 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 Michael Flynn. Yeah, uh, what's all his, these other? Who's uh, the glasses guy? All the Russians that were they yeah. were. Well, that was last week. If you got guys, go look at last yeah, week's Armageddon right. update. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it. It's pretty crazy. Cohen. Cohen. Yeah, Cohen. Uh, Mr. Trump. I, that guy. I, I, you, know, good, you know, good for him finding a new scam, though. Good for him. Weisselberg is still not expected to turn on Trump and will not testify against him at the New York criminal hush money case scheduled to start later this month. So if we know. Okay, so here's what I'll say. Anybody who has backed Trump, mm -hmm. Giuliani. Yep. Uh, 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 Igor and Lev, mm -hmm. everybody who backed him, everybody, McCarthy, everybody gets fucked over yeah, eventually, yeah. right? Eventually, he he just gets thrown. They th yep. he throws him under the bus, <clears throat> and yep. he doesn't care. What I don't understand is why people keep doing it. Look, Lindsey Graham, it doesn't matter. He just continues to throw whoever backs him under the bus whenever it's convenient. Why then would Weisselberg not flip? Because Weisselberg knows where the money is. He knows where the bodies are. He knows everything. He got a $2 million severance, but this $1 million ruling with interest is going to eat that up. Yeah. 
I don't know. Unless you got there remember. has to be more. So I think the one guy, and by the way, you never hear Trump say a bad word about Weiselberg ever. Because also, he didn't flip on him. He didn't flip on him. No, no, I, I disagree. Here's what I think. He also never says a bad thing about Christy. The what the boasty guy that he was hat fat. He doesn't say anything about Nikki Haley. Really, tricky Nikki, tricky Nikki, tricky Nikki. What is, whatever that so means. Tired of these um, but he never really names. goes after her, and I think it's because. The people, the people he has stuff on, he will trash and they, they kiss his ass. Everybody else, uh, Christie, Haley, and Weisselberg, he, he's got nothing on him. In fact, Weisselberg has more on him. Can you have bones in prison? I don't know. Rikers? I, don't know. I mean, I know typically you can't, but if you're yeah, a well, white collar crime vice of can you, you have could get a one phone? in there. You can Do you get, know what you could spend all your time doing in that cell if you could get a phone? What? Fitbod. This Yay! episode brought to you by <laughs> Fitbod. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to argue with another intro <laughs> to it. No, now. I knew where it was going. Your your tone changes. You were very excited about Fitbod today. Uh, today was I excited about Fitbod? Today? Oh, I today Every I noticed. Day. Today mm -hmm. I noticed that uh, 14, 15 months into working out, my body has changed pretty dramatically uh, in the sense that I am. Uh, and in, in, in people, it's the key is this is the key. What it's is cons it? Consistency. What is Fitbod? Fitbod is an app that you can buy. Uh, it costs less than one session of training. You get it for the whole year, and it, it it's uh it's it actually will give you a workout every day, or you can actually put in your own workout and customize it. This weekend, I was in um, Austin, oh, yeah. Texas. Too. And complain I, about this body weight workout. Oh uh, man! Oh, uh, yeah. Listen, listen. The dumbbell workout's tough. That you've got bench, you've got equipment, it's tough. I don't know how, what they did to the body weight only workout where you don't have to, but it destroyed me. It destroyed me. I'm, You're like, often I'm, doing- I'm in the hotel late on the back going, ah, You ah. called me and told me this. <laughs> well, because you're often doing like plyo type things, burpees that you don't do. So you're getting yeah. those fast twitch muscles. And, and you're not a heavy guy. You know, no, it, it did you know. four. I did four four rounds of burpees. Then I did two different rounds of push ups. Then I did uh, uh, um, pike push ups. And then and it just kept going. And at one point, usually on, on, the, on the football workout, I'll have a workout where with, with the weight workout, there'll be like three tough ones, then two tough ones and an easier one, and then maybe uh, a tough one and two easy ones. They, 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 by the way, they work it out for you, people. As you as you as you put your performance in, what ends up happening is they end up describing or building the workout specifically for you. And when you get it, you get it actually set up where you think you are workout wise. For and whatever, what equipment you have? Yeah, what equipment? And you ha you can have nothing and still kick your ass. How often you want to work yeah. out? No equipment. Yeah, it's yeah. all tailored to you and whatever you have, time you have, space you have. Um, it's a personalized workout routine. It adapts as you improve. It tracks your muscle recovery, so it's not going to have you doing the same thing every day. Um, also, it's fine tuned by experienced certified personal trainers, which is super key yep. for me and then if you don't know how to do something if you're new to working out you can click on the videos and watch the dumb guy do the videos <laughs> with the ex there's one guy you don't like there's one guy i don't like <laughs> so add fitbod to your workout essentials because this is absolutely but even a he workout does. essential but one of the most affordable workout tools that you could get and it's not i don't like the guy he's great <laughs> he's great he just does it with such verve he doesn't like how happy he is. Like there's about a demonstration. There's a, there's a demonstration video. Let's say you don't know. I, I and I use it all the time. Like okay, what exact what? Because I want to get my technique right, or I want to get my yep. you know my form right. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Not throwing my back out or my or my neck out. And and this guy, he's just got a lot of verve. <laughs> <laughs> so we hate happy people. Uh, join Fitbod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25 percent off of your subscription, or you can just try the app for free at fitbod.me slash Titus. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Titus. You were saying today that, and this is every day just about now. No. Yes, that you, it has changed your shape. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it I, has, yeah. Well, I just want to see if you say that. See, if I say it, it's more of a, I'm fishing. Well, I told you. I'm like, Whizz. One of our friends, yeah, David. I'm better looking now, right? <laughs> one of our friends, David. Right? No? Do we have a <laughs> Fitbot ad coming babe, up? Babe, babe, babe. Leaned my... over my sister during the show in Boston and went, wow, Fitbot, damn. Hey, now. While you were on stage. So, there you go. There you go, Titus. I feel better. Guys, they say there's something I read that it's estimated that for every hour you work out, you get three hours extra of life. 
So I'm not going to die. I'm going to work out. I'll be in the, that. That discouraged some people. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, I'm not doing that then. <laughs> I'm ready to tap out now. Let's go. Yeah. I love it too much here. Uh, the UN has just put out a report that it found convincing information that the hostages in Gaza were raped. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. So, uh, so is, and, and can I say something about this? And, and, and no matter what you say about Israel, uh, it's going to go bad. I would listen to Iman Mohedin and and on MSNBC, and I have to. I'm going to call this 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 guy out. Biden and our administration sent in because look, Netanyahu is not listening to our administration at all. They keep saying that we're the power, most powerful country. You guys got to yeah, do something. No. But Netanyahu is not listening to Biden at all. He ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. Now I kind of get it for one reason. Let's go over what happened. Israel didn't attack Gaza. Gaza attacked Israel, killed 1,400 kids dancing at a rave, and then and a bunch of other people. And then Israel said, okay, no more. Don't forget that Israel's been attacked since day one they were made uh, their own country. Yeah. Day one that they got, they got made a country on a Thursday. On Friday, five Arab countries invaded them. Israel has a little edgy. About someone messing with them. Agreed? But, but they a also have- testy. They're a little testy. Six million dead in World War II. I think they're a little bit- A little bit! Yeah, we- uh, And they're also led by Israeli Trump. That's the true. Trump, that's true. It, it's, imagine if, if that was us so, and so, Trump was in charge. Right. And so, my, my, my stance on this has been for a while, which is like, okay, listen, if you push me around enough, you hurt me enough, if you come at me again, I'm going to come hard. And Israel has done that. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. are now about 30,000 Gazans dead, a lot of those citizens. Now, here's what I'll say. Israel has one of the best secret services ever. The Mossad. I think there's a time. I think I think Israel's made its point. I, I you know, don't you? To to um, uh, we, we, we will we will rain yes, down and terror and then and then and then. Yes. And it's time for us to be better than Hamas. Yeah. You know, and it's not it's not that hard of a thing. We've you've made your point. It's time for us to be better than Hamas. And the Biden administration sends all this aid they airlift aid and there's vi there's pictures of like parachutes popping and food dropping and people running towards it and this guy am mohodin gets up and he goes he goes they dropped maybe enough food for maybe tw twenty thousand people and he goes there's two hundred thousand people that are starving or two to me and i was like motherfucker we did it's like you how do you so it's it a start come on it's so you said today um what did you say about family it's like yeah, it's like me with family. You do for family, and like, yeah. and then no one gives a shit. I said that. I said so. We did something. We're trying to help, and that's not good enough. Right. And he mm -hmm. goes, "Yeah, it's just like family. <laughs> yeah, Our didn't family help specifically. <laughs> yeah, you loaned me yeah. a car. Yeah, but you didn't loan me the, the, the Corvette, <laughs> asshole. So totally. I, I think it's time. It's time for us to. Um, I think it's time for us to be better in Hamas in, in Israel. And and I and here's what else I would say. I would say that every secret service undercover agency in nato on the planet needs to put some effort to every single one of those um uh, agencies going after hamas every single leader every single it's a terrorist group sorry mm -hmm. gotta take them out uh remember when remember when obama was president and the worst job was to be uh second in charge of isis because your ass was dead <laughs> it was like yeah. it was like because you knew in a day you were going to be number two number one guy yep. and then you were dead yep. and that guy behind you was like oh no come on man <laughs> there's a funeral in the ocean for you <laughs> yeah <tomorrow>. constantly <laughs> So, um, this episode brought to you by F Butcher Box. I was gonna make that tie in with funeral and ocean. No, and just you can't thought, do it. No, don't even say it. We gotta start over again. No, I'm not okay. starting over. <laughs> Speaking of seafood, I'm rolling with it. Can I tell you something? I was in Austin and um, a guy came up to me. I was signing posters, and he came up to me. And he goes, he goes, uh, Butcher Box, amazing. Yeah, yeah. He goes, amazing. Yeah, we ain't bullshitting. He goes, it all showed up. Mm -hmm. He goes. I have a freezer full of meat now. Yeah, he I goes, it's all it good. He goes, he goes, it's good. Yeah. And I was like, exactly. You mainly raise no antibiotics or added hormones. Very important to me. 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork is raised crepe free, and the seafood is wild caught. There's also nothing more fun than getting a crate of meat. I don't know why, <laughs> but it is amazing. Like we're pirates. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it feels like, pirates. Is it the college student in me or, you know, the young comic or- yeah. Musician yes. that exactly. needed food and mm -hmm. you survived on ramen or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because when that box shows up, it is 
Christmas. You're like, oh, thank God. Yeah. It's Christmas. Yeah. And you feel rich as you <laughs> yeah. put it in. You're holding all this meat and you're putting mm-hmm. it in. I don't know why. What did you have recently? Oh, oh you recently. Get the hot dogs. The hot dogs are so best hot dogs. Really? The best hot dogs. I haven't tried That's a bold yet. statement. Costco has good hot dogs. I, I'll, I, will, I will raise you wow. a butcher box hot dog. Wow. Really? We'll have a hot dog wow. That's a, no, that doesn't sound that's right. That's a bold <laughs> statement. Yeah, that's. Don't, let's not raise our hot dogs <laughs> at one another. I can have a hot dog off. <laughs> And no, again, we're not having a hot dog off. No. <laughs> I recently defrosted chicken, right? It comes in like a friggin' like like a, a row yeah, of like, yeah. you know, and I left it in there and I think you're supposed to defrost chicken for like like a day or two, but otherwise, and it kind of goes bad and I was just too busy and I was like, fuck, I need to cook that chicken. And it was like four days later. I was like, I'm just good. I got to eat it. <laughs> Cooked it. Fucking perfect. Yeah. No problem. Chicken's Still really tasted good. great. I By the way, a lot later. of our eyes no, don't you have this much swearing in them, but okay. <laughs> it is really good. And it's delivered to your doorstep and you get free shipping and you can pick what goes in your box or you can pick one of their pre-settled boxes because they have some on there. I like picking, you like picking. I sometimes am interested in your choices, but uh, it's a, it's a all over the map mm-hmm. kind of choices. Yeah. Isn't it? I, yeah. I even said to him, I was like, why is he getting? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he's ordering? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's ordering it. It's okay. He also lives right. with a kid. Yeah. And he lives with That's a kid. That's why. That was and why. And he lives with a kid. And it helps you do meal prep. If you're getting in shape, using your AG1 and you're working out with FitBod, this is a great company because you need to get that protein, protein in. Up. Lean up protein. Um, And it's easy. You don't have to worry about what's for dinner. I've learned how to cook things I never really made before because we it was on there and I was like, well, that sounds interesting. And I would order it and then go look how to make it. So it's pretty awesome. Cheaper than going to the grocery store too. So how do we get it? So with meal prep, the key to becoming the meal prep master is staying stocked up on your essentials. ButcherBox is here to help you do just that. They're offering listeners their choice of a weeknight meal must have three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips. Those are really good for free in every order for a whole year. And you get $20 off your first order. If you sign up today at butcherbox.com slash Titus, use promo code Titus to choose your free offer and get $20 off. Perfect. Love it. I just have those. Uh, I took those. I took uh, the, the, the packages of chicken thighs to the cabin. So good. Yeah, mm. I cooked them all up. It was My brother so makes yakitori with chicken thighs. Yeah, I used mm. I used uh, um, uh, soy sauce and stuff, and I and I and I put them in bags and I just yeah. saved it. We'd go skiing and have. I'd have oh like, yeah. yeah, it was so good. It so is good. really good. These ads make me. When my brother room. came, because he's a grill master, and he made we had steak and chicken, and even he was like, "Holy crap, this is really good!" And he eats a lot of meat, which sounds weird, but he does. Somebody changed the subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want to see my brother, he is in the last episode of Knock 'em Dead. Uh, Billy Gardell is doing the one that's coming out for March, but uh, we did First Responders Knock 'em Dead podcast on YouTube, and you can go hear a little bit of what they go through. Billy's episode was great too, man. Yeah. We, we really talked about there is, um, what did you talk about? Grief, uh, burnout. Um, Compassion fatigue. Com- compassion fatigue. Yeah, man, it was it was, a, it was a good episode. Of course, Gardell is so funny. Yes. Can uh, I announce that we're gonna take some of the content from Knock 'em Dead, put them here, so people, you guys can get familiar with it. Yeah. And then yeah. You, you know what 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 you're in for. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll go see a little on. bit of what we're doing. Yeah. And it's sort of like you get a bonus episode yeah. every month because you'll recognize the space we're mm-hmm. here you're there sometimes it's it's just sort of a bonus episode without politics also um guys uh we are filming uh carrying yes. monsters uh it, on april 13th at the el portal theater if you want to get tickets to come see the filming we got two shows second show is going to have an after party we're working on um but go get tickets at christopher titus.com Buy those tickets uh, and get to the show, man. This it's the best it's ever been. Yeah, go to the tour page and just click through. That's the easiest way to find it. But there's going to be two shows and then an after party. And it's going to be super awesome. Titus's tent special. It's a big effing deal, man. It's a big effing deal, In the words of Joe Biden. I had such fun in Austin. Austin, I went to a Cap City Comedy Club. I got to be honest, people. It's such a good club. It's such a good... And the audience is in Austin. It's Austin is this weird bastion of just normality in the center of texas texas it's just interesting and the great audiences great show even this even even the crowds you know 
they didn't even matter on size. They were just, it was just awesome. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, what else is going on in the news I'm going to talk about? Oh, so Supreme Court ruling. That's it. About Colorado. So the Supreme Court talks about states' rights all the time when it comes to abortion or when it comes to anything else. When it comes to the state deciding Trump committed yeah. an insurrection and he violated the 14th Amendment, they're like, no, 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 no. You can't say that. And This is the problem with the three... Trump MAGA judges that we've got a stacked court that is in favor of Trump. But this it was is this is going to be the, well. The that was, a, was the second ruling wasn't though. But I will say this: Amy Coney, uh, any question yes. about it, Amy Coney Barrett joined the three liberals in saying that there's got to be some other. It can't just. So here's what happened, guys, because um, you guys know what we're talking about. Um, basically, Colorado had said that Trump can't be on the ballot. There's been two or three states now that have also said they don't want Trump on the ballot because he committed insurrection. Yeah, and and by the way. They didn't just randomly decide that. They it's went to, to their court, law. They went to a court case and were like, yeah. "It's Colorado had a hearing and a trial yeah. about it. And they were like, yeah, he committed insurrection. By any measure, by any definition, yeah. this man committed an insurrection yeah. against the United States. Cool. So so Colorado goes, we're not doing it. Well, that ends up in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, and, and it's weird. I see what they're saying. I heard someone, because uh, I was angry at first, and I heard a couple, like some lefty crazy Libby's going nuts yeah. about it. And then they had a guy on as I was driving into work today, and he said, he said, let's, let's, he goes, let's, let's actually break this down for real, because it's not as bad as you think it is. All nine justices agreed that a state cannot get rid of a federal candidate, because if they did that, that means anybody could say insurrection, and it would just clog up the court system. Any right. state could say Biden can't run again. And they go, why? Well, because he did this and he let, he, he let immigrants cross the border and that's treason and that's an insurrection. The, he's letting other right. people take over our country. So they said that in a federal, now they did rule that in a local election, a state election, and someone commits insurrection against state, they can say, no, you can't run. Okay. But they said federal election, it ha we have to have one rule because if we don't, it's going to be just crazy. And I kind of yeah, I kind of it. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they also said though it, with the with the, uh, another dissension, um, Amy Coney Barrett and the three liberals said we need to come up with some other means though to make sure that someone who does commit an insurrection federally gets dealt with. Yeah, it, you know, gets dealt with. What else they, is said, there? they didn't think Congress. They said Congress isn't enough because Congress is so political. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's rare that would ever happen. Yeah, so we need another way, and I hope I hope it's a court system. So, so Trump basically is, uh, he gets going to be on the ballot everywhere, uh, and, uh, he won't know it obviously by, by, cause by his dementia, but <laughs> <laughs> cause he's running against Nancy Pelosi <laughs> <laughs> and Obama. I mean, it, that's a tough one. Those yeah. are both two really good liberal Hillary. candidates. Yeah. And Hillary too. And Argentina. And Argentina. Uh, you know what he really needs? Cause his skin looks really bad. No, what? He needs OS1 because <laughs> holy, you could dive into his pores. Did you see him today? By the way, I thought this today. I looked at him and he had all his makeup on and all his tanner yeah. and he, and you could see through it. Yeah. It still bad, his skin bad, looks bad. like a football. Like yeah. a, a it football. is no bueno. Uh, and that's why he needs. This episode brought to you by One Skin. Um, it's important as seasons change also to address because what's going on with your skin because it's drier it's hotter mm -hmm. you're sweating you're whatever um os1 also fine lines wrinkles that's something i always want to address um is a product that we recommend he's go ahead give him the pose do you know he's oh, 93 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> close and he, he uses os1 i do he uses i he uses os1 face uh you don't use os1 body but i do you don't yeah, you do. use it because you just don't <laughs> that's it you're a, you're a guy it's yeah. that that i have that. him putting on this stuff on his face is like this is yeah it's awesome it's it, a big it, deal it did make a big difference it really did. And I feel like instantly you notice that your skin is softer and like a little plumper feeling. Um, but also the thing about OS1 is they actually went into a lab and found this peptide that actually it doesn't just temporarily mask aging or wrinkles or whatever. It actually addresses it at a cellular level. It 
gets rid of those uh, dead senescent cells. And then they proved it in a 12 week clinical study. They, it was performed by third party research organization. OS one face was clinically proven to strengthen the skin barrier, improve skin health markers and diminish visible signs of aging wrinkles reduced in 87% of users. So I want to be clear people. This wasn't a company saying it does this. This was an independent study that was done after a blind study that was done that proved that this works. And I could say by wearing it, we've been doing it like eight months now. Yeah. Uh, How could they tell if it was blind? They couldn't see the results. Oh my God. I don't understand. Because the blind people were like, this is awesome. This feels so good. <laughs> I feel very, am, look? I touch, am I touching me? <laughs> I think it's easy. It's, you don't have to, it just simplifies everything. Yep. You don't need a thousand things. And uh, because this is going to address what you want to address. Um, but also it's, to me, it feels, it feels clean when I use it. There's no perfume. Right. There's no right. scent. I'm that very sensitive skin. It's just easy. Yep. And makes a big difference. So I recommend eye, face, and body. They also have a uh, SPF shield as well that I have not tried, but I'm going to now that I see that they have that. Um, One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company by focusing on the cellular aspects of aging. One Skin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. Get started today. With 15% off using promo code TITUS at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with pro promo code TITUS. After you buy it, they're going to ask you where you heard about it. So please support us. Let them know that you heard about it here from yeah, the TITUS podcast. It. New Year, healthier skin. That's one skin. Help your skin stay younger and healthier for longer. I do really like this product. I just noticed you know i've used stuff that you've got me in, and this is the best of it of, of all the you know i've got some better higher end stuff that, that, that you made me because when she met me she realized i was old <laughs> you were biden's age i then. made you start to moisturize <laughs> yeah. but this is uh it's it just i think better in general than most of the things that we tried because it what it actually does it's actually doing something instead of just sitting just on like, top yeah, of your skin taking it on yes what are you doing you on I your phone up new i wanted to look up new i knew there, there was a, a spacex look at spacex rocket there's a rocket that went to oh, yeah. to the space station today and they're talking about landing on the moon which yeah. i find incredibly cool but it's so funny because you know instagram listen if you go down the, the conspiracy rabbit hole on instagram and I, I have done it and to the point where she's been like, get off yeah. your phone. <laughs> she's I just could make a video about <laughs> SpaceX and the moon but, and but I'm it, not qualified. But they keep saying, you know, these conspiracy guys are really funny because everybody takes a little thing and it blows up. Why mm -hmm. haven't we gone to the moon? The moon's been there. We, last time we were there in 1972, why, why come we on the moon anymore? You know why? Because there's a bit of secret alien base there's on the other side of the moon. Proof. That's right. Photo. Yeah, look at this photo of this. Those What's this? this? These are cameras from SpaceX satellites mm -hmm. that show something whipping by. Two different that's shadows an crossing. They're going right. to an international space station right. that's there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to dock autonomously around 3 a.m. Well, there's a crew on it though. Right. Come out. There yeah, but is those a crew. They've already started. They're crashing, going to spend the next six months on the orbital laboratory. They said it's going to be crowded there for the first time, probably because of all the aliens. Six months. Can you imagine being in a tiny, tiny? It's like being up just okay. The whole thing's about as big as our little editing. Yeah, day. that's pretty much what I. Yeah. Yeah, imagine just like constantly about up. twelve of us up there at once. Oh yeah, yeah all of us. There's going to be. A, there's going to gonna be a murder on the space stations eventually. By the way, that would be a great Hercule, Hercule Poirot one in, in, yeah. in present times. Yeah. They said that uh, NASA said the crew plans to conduct more than 200 experiments and scientific demonstrations. They're going to study the effects of microgravity and UV radiation on plants using stem cells to create models to study degenerative disease. Testing whether wearing pressure cuffs on the legs could prevent fluid shifts and reduce health problems. And astronauts are going to do a lot. They're relieving four people, which uh, who went last August. Sounds like some of those things you could do here. They went Earth. last August, so they they're set to splash whole, down oh, off the Florida splash. coast about a week after this. Group Look up gets landing there. on the moon, though. Look up the NASA landing on the moon thing, because I want to. I want to hear about this, and I want to know why. Oh, this was the thing last week when you were. Yeah. Why are we landing on the moon? 
That's what I want to know. Is there something I told you, there? I think Biden's like, dun, 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 Here, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. on the moon. Here, man, you get it, and you get it. I think he's just like, whatever, whatever it takes. He's Call already for got, a he's, ceasefire. He's already got one of the best records since FDR, man. He's, he's, like, he's already got this. People don't get that. I, and that's another thing no one will admit to. Although I have seen some Republicans kind of shifting. I, they've been interviewing people at, at uh, some of the polling places, and, and they're like, well, I just can't vote for Trump, you know, and Biden. Yeah. I, you know, they're like, I'll reluctantly vote for Biden. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he's done his job. And, and you, by the way, like him or hate him, he's done his job. Yeah. Now says collected the first surface science in decades via commercial moon mission. More than 50 years. Well, that's the one that fell over. That's right. Yeah. It got up there and think. It, 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 <laughs> it, it, we, we sent it from Earth to the moon and it landed. One of the feet landed on a rock and it fell over. That's all it takes. <laughs> it tripped. <laughs> it fucking tripped. <laughs> They yeah. said it was it was coming down. It was landing like this. It was going down at like four miles an hour and moving at two miles an hour. And when it hit, it hit a rock and went over. That's just could you imagine everyone just like? Fuck. No, they were happy. That, well, after it after it went over and it started transmitting data, they were happy. Okay, yeah. But they still effed up. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. We haven't. We're studying things. We're doing. We're doing stuff. Yeah, but supposedly we're supposed to build like like plants on the moon and like build like companies and there's going to be stuff on the moon and I don't yeah malls why. and why of course know, parking okay. lots there's going to be a mall on I Mars. thought that there well, was well, some talk about that uh, people would be able we'd be able to have commercial flights to the moon right mm -hmm. remember that yeah. like which it has been talked about for quite a while yeah but, but even bezos and and the virgin airlines guy and yeah. uh, and musk is like there is like, remember all this big man it's going to be commercial space travel yeah. That shit really hasn't worked out, has yeah, it? Yeah, and that was just in orbit. In that fact, wasn't when, when, when William Shatner landed after going up with Bezos and he was like, he goes, it was the scariest, it was the most evil thing I've ever seen. Why? Because you look at this beautiful blue planet and you turn the other way and it's blackness forever and you realize this is all we have. Thanks, Captain <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> Yay, Disney World. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, tell me if this is true. Look, up, Japan builds, uh, then we'll finish this up. Japan builds escalator to space. They're going oh, yeah. to build a I lift. Okay, yeah, did like you see a, this? Like a, it was like a, like an elevator. Yeah, like but one. It's insane. Did they do it? They probably no, built it already. They, we just don't. Know. <laughs> we just yeah. That was okay. the balloon. It's called a Started. space elevator, and it's electric. What? It's an electric vehicle called a climber that drives up and down one thin tether it's between what? the ground and a satellite in stationary orbit, using another outside tether to balance with centrifugal force. Totally sounds like this will work the fine. The total length of the tether extends to 62,137 miles or 100,000 kilometers. What do we call the thing that climbs? How China does it take and Japan are building space elevators. How long does it take to build? Uh, are you going to take an elevator 62,000 miles? <laughs> Be like China and Japan are collaborating. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're losing like Boeing airplanes. <laughs> like we we got shit to deal to deal with John down here. John Oliver did a whole segment on on Boeing people. They asked, they interviewed people at Boeing. Would you get on this plane? Yeah. And two oh one, they said no. No shit. Ray and I are taking off tomorrow to Hartford. <laughs> what, what, Connecticut. Yeah. what model plane is it? No, <laughs> when this is not, this is coming out later. Yeah. So oh, it's coming out next week, right? So what are we doing next week? Richmond. You got shows this year. Richmond, Virginia Tuesday, Beach. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Virginia Beach. Friday, the State Theater in Falls Church, Falls Church Virginia, yep. right outside of DC. All our DC people come see us at the State Theater. Theater. Yeah, so we'll be uh, we'll be whoring that. Look for those guys. Do me a favor, people. Follow us on Instagram and follow us on uh, Threads. I am I am off X now uh, because uh, <laughs> it's you know why. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know why. She goes make you know this why. fun. And now it's time for Highlanders fun facts. Highlanders fun facts. It's Highlanders fun facts. Yeah, this is fun. Okay. And, and it's, it's a fact. And it's great. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was fun. Nobody can see that. We're going to cut that right out. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of craziness. You cutting everything out. You got to roll with it. We don't cut here. Cut. We roll. Cut. We roll with it. We got to cut this lecture. We're going to cut this. We're just going to lose a lecture. Woman, pipe it. <laughs> God, you better <laughs> cut that. <laughs> she now she cuts. Uh -huh. Now oh, she wants I to cut. I see yeah, how it works. Uh -huh. Okay, then. <laughs>
Can I go? Can I yeah. do my thing? <laughs> <laughs> he said, can I go? Can I do my thing? McDonald's once mm. made an attempt to get kids to eat healthier, okay. but it didn't go over well. No, it okay. did not. It did not go over well. And the kids, they, they tested children and they were confused by the taste. And this was why. Because they once made bubblegum flavored broccoli. Ooh. Doesn't that sound delicious? No. What Bubble kind of, gum, what what kind kind of, kind of lab? diabolic psycho is in the lab Elon at McDonald's? Musk yeah. Yeah. Fucking space age. I have an idea. Did it look like broccoli? If we make broccoli taste like bubble gum, Did they it'll use be fine. real broccoli and flavor it? I don't do real research on okay. these fun facts. I just do. <laughs> I, I just read it. I don't do right? a deep Listen, dive. Five minutes before no, we start. No, he's having a bad hair day. Oh, Poochie. Hi, Poochie. He's you got you his mustaches oh. are going <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Guys, thanks for uh, listening to the Titus Podcast. Thanks for watching us on Christopher Titus TV. Go there, by the way, for all our content. Plus, we're going to start putting up chunks of, uh, of Ray's new podcast, Knock, Knock Em Dead. Dead. And uh, and do me a favor. Go to ChristopherTitus.com. Get tickets to that filming. I'm also doing the Netflix is a joke special here in Los, Los Angeles, May 2nd. April 13th. Right? No, no the filming is April 13th. When's Netflix? May 2nd. Oh, the Netflix. Is yeah, May that's 2nd? May yeah. Fifth? Second? I thought it was the fifth. I think it's the fifth. Oh but a cut. Cut. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Neither does Poochie. The Poochie. point being, you could go to his website. Go to the website, see guys. And all this is happening. Yes. It is going to be May 2nd. I thought so. At the May Kookaburra 2nd. Lounge in Hollywood. Yeah, it's the last time I'll be doing Carrying Your Monsters live before I start breaking in my new show. So come see it, guys. It's the best it's ever been. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. Make a busy one. Come on, Poochie. Let's you go. also, for all of our Columbus, Ohio people, we're doing a theater for the first time in Mount Vernon, Ohio, not far from there, the Memorial Theater on May 11th. That's going to be super fun. Yeah.